Alright man, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be covering Darman's clone and how he's an absolute lunatic. Some of you be like, well whacked, isn't Darman crazy? Well, maybe a little, but this dude's on a whole other level. Also, a few things I should get out of the way before we start the video. One, Darman's someone who posts, you know, skits about certain things. And this guy, Darman's clone, posts about the same stuff, except his situations are way uniqueer. Yeah, ain't no way that's a f***ing word. Way more unique. And let's just say, by unique, I mean crazy. Also, because they're subscribing, it's totally free, and you can always unsubscribe later. Also, join my Discord, link in the description. It's totally free to join that also, and we're having a giveaway going right now. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing Girl Gets in the Wrong Uber. Pays with her life. Life lessons with Lewis, which is Darman's clone if you didn't know. And good god man, her entire life she's gonna die for this? And the thumbnail is literally, please don't hurt and hurt in all red so you guys know she's serious about it, me, and some crazy guy on the right and she's crying on the left. Good god, looks like she's trying to hold back a smile though. Can y'all imagine Darman's clone or Lewis being like, hey man, look really sad, like you're about to get murdered, and she's like, <coughs> Alright man, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. Also stick all the way to the end so you can see the entire situation, because let me just say, this video is beyond crazy. Donald? <laughs> Alright, I've never used Uber in my life, but let me just say, shouldn't they be saying your name? Like, when I do use Uber, I'm gonna expect them to know my name, I'm gonna open the door, I'm gonna wait for them to say Gavin, and if they don't, hell, I'm out of there. <sighs> Sorry, my phone gets all weird when it gets off Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's not a problem. Make yourself comfortable. So where are we headed? All right, red flag number two. Where are we headed? Are you kidding me? On the Uber app, you should know. To be honest though, considering this guy's the antagonist, AKA a kidnapper, he shouldn't even have said that. I mean, I don't mean to give crime tips or all, but he should've just kept on driving or started driving and not asked anything. Do not try at home. Don't you have the address on your phone? Yeah, it would make it easier if you gave it to me again. It's right by Dell on a mall, if that helps. Just go straight down Carson. Sounds great. Here we go. So, what's a young lady such as yourself doing out so late at night? Red flag number two, this dude's asking you what you're doing late at night, bro. Plead to the Fifth Amendment and don't say shit. Oh, and Lewis or Darman's clone, whatever you want to be referred to as, bro. What is this noise, man? This music in my ears really creeping me out. I'm getting serious Arcane Craniacs vibes from this video. Oh, and if you don't know who Arcane Craniacs is, take a look at this. ChuckyChief.exe actually lives here. Even though he once took me to his beach condo and we had an amazing night. And he whined and dined me, and then he turned on Netflix. What? And, and then we, and then we just chilled. No! We're not gonna talk about my amazing romantic night with Charles himself, you know? What? Like, Lissy! You don't even know his real name! Is he Charles? Who calls him Charles? I mean, we had a crazy night. No! He went on the bed, dude! I'm not gonna be outside with him, dude! Wait. Daddy's in the bed? Daddy, what are you talking about? I mean, we have to, dude. This is our house. We gotta show, like, dominance. Yeah, but it's the imposter. You know, your daddy. <sighs> I know, he is, like, really dreamy. Be honest, did you have a little baby with the imposter? Uh, Who uh, is this? A little baby with the yeah, imposter? Yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? Be honest. About? You were out here for quite some time. I mean, even if we did, there would have been- I suppose this Darman clone and Arcane Craniacs, aka the sussiest man alive, have quite a bit in common. One, godforsaken music in the background 24-7. Two, and most notably, very unbelievable. Although, to be honest, I do believe Chuck E. Cheese eating Arcane Craniac's foot more than this story. I'm actually going to see my boyfriend. Boyfriend? How old are you? I'm still in high school. Please don't tell my parents, I really don't want to get in trouble with them. You act like he has your parents' number. Oh my god, if you're gonna be an actor, be realistic, although I'm sure you're not the one that made up the script. When you're in high school, you don't answer questions like these. Like, if someone asked me this shit and I didn't even know him, I'd be like, uh, sorry man, I don't say stuff like that. Like, that's just weird. I'm just walking down the street. Hey, little Timmy, what's your social security number? Oh yeah, it's 58... Where do your parents think you are right now? I'm in bed. I kind of snuck out to see my boyfriend. That's very dangerous of you. Don't worry. 
Right now you're stopped. All you have to do is pull the thing and run. Like the thing on the window, that's very easy. That's car tips 101. Oh, and let's not ignore the fact that you literally didn't do anything after he touched you. Like, man, if he touches me, he's getting the one-two right hook. Either A, pepper spray his dumb ass after he touches you, which I know a lot of girls carry that, or unlock that shit and run. Shit, man, combine the two. Pepper spray in the face, one-two right hook, and then unlock the door and run. That's what you should do. We're supposed to turn back there. This way's quicker. Don't worry, it's a shortcut. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, and let's not ignore the fact that the fucking doors are unlocked. If you go back in the video, I'm too lazy to put it on the screen right now, but they are unlocked. Sam? Uh, hello? Hey, Madison. Hey, this is Sam, your Uber driver. I, Lewis, aka Darman Clone, your shit's not adding up because she went in the car saying like Bruce or Willis, something like that, and this person's Sam? How in the hell did she manage to get the wrong Uber twice? I just want to let you know that I'm outside. Outside where? Um, 3117 Gardner Ave. Hello? Madison? Yeah, babe, I'll see you in a second. What do you mean, babe? Hello? You can drop me off here. My boyfriend's actually going to pick me up. Please pull over. Do you do this often, picking up strange girls in the middle of the night? Before I kill you, I'm going to make sure you learned your lesson. Before Lewis gives his explanation of what the moral of this story is, well, it's pretty obvious what it is. Don't jump in random f***ing cars and don't get the wrong Uber twice. I do wonder what's gonna happen at red light because the doors are unlocked. Worst case scenario, she has to jump out and barrel roll down the street. But this guy isn't invincible. He has to hit at least one red light. Alright, now let's get Lewis's explanation of the moral of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get notified every time we release a new episode. And as always, make sure to share this with somebody that you love. Now Lou is using a true story for shares, oh my. This person died, please leave a like to revive them. Okay now. If you made this far, spam the comments with a bunch of sixes to make this comment section look possessed. Also, this guy has plenty of other crazy stories I could cover, so if you really did enjoy, leave a like so I can know. Thank you all for watching this far, subscribe if you really feel like it, you can also get some free oxygen if you do. Have a blessed day, go do something productive, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios amigos.